Hi, it's Jill and Kendall with Crick Flex. Um, tonight I'm just going to be finishing up a project. However, it is uh, Friday evening and it's normally Nama and Kendall's project time. However, Kendall is sick, has a really bad cold, and we decided we weren't going to do a project tonight because she needs to get to bed. However, she wanted to help Nama film. When she heard I was going to videotape, she wanted to come and help me out. What I'm doing is some centerpieces for Cinderella. And there's going to be three pieces. They're almost done. So I'm just going to kind of do a quick overview on what I did. On the Cinderella, I did her. She's 12 inches tall. And she is... Um, oh, she's she's prior to the ball you notice she's in her house dress and what I did down here to give her a little bit of texture because I just wanted something different you'll see with the other two pieces um, she was real plain and simple so what I did is she actually has a rag underneath her hands on her lap here and to give it that little bit of, of um, oh I can't think of what it's called well, anyway, I put a piece of fabric, and what I did is I took this cotton fabric and I tore these little squares. And the reason I wanted to tear it and not cut it was because then I can get all these frayed pieces like a rag. Then what I did is I went in with my crocodile and I punched a hole in down by her hand here, and I actually placed the hole where the black contour line was so that I didn't put I don't know anyway I don't know why the reasoning was for going through the black contour but I, that's what I did and then I did one on the other side and all I'm doing is pulling this little tiny piece of rag through the hole in the front and, and I and you have to do this before you put her together because um, once you glue the two pieces together for the obvious reasons you're not going to be able to thread your fabric through the hole. Anyway, this might be a little bit tricky with a four-year-old sitting on my lap, but I'm sure we can do it. Right, Kendall? Yeah. Yeah. It's all good, right? So in that little hole, I take and stuck the fabric through, and I'm pulling it through um, there we go and fibers that was the word I was trying to think of when you try and bring fibers into your projects to give them that unique textures and dimension and whatnot there you go just a little piece of a rag a real authentic rag in her hand now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these two together now that I've already gotten that through you can see it's it's strung through in the back and now we're going to go ahead and put her together the front again this is a little bit of a challenge with Kendall on my lap we're getting ready for story time and to go to bed hey. right honey hey. you're going to do the glue okay Kendall's going to do the glue can you put the whoop, 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 whoop. careful go ahead run it all the way to the tip of her head okay Go all the way to the tip of her head. Whoops. Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. We're going to help her a little bit here. Just a minute, honey. Let me, it's kind of not going so easy, and I think it's because she's sitting on my lap. It's a little bit, we don't have her in her chair. She was in playing Uno. Is that what you were playing, honey? Yeah. With her papa. But when she heard I was going to tape, she called it quits on the Uno game and said she was going to come help me finish up our tape. Because remember, it's Nama and Kendall's hour. Okay, now I'm going to put my sticks on here. You want to run some glue on there for me from here to here? Just run some. There you go. That'll work. And run me some oh, down here. Ooh, hot glue on Nama's knuckle. Run a little bit more down there. Okay, move the gun so I don't burn myself again. There we go. There we go. Now, I'm going to do this one to put her on. Okay, honey? Thank you, though. Why? Oh, because it's kind of hard when you don't have your own chair here. And 
Nama's knuckle still on fire. There we go. There we go. And we're going to put her second or top piece on here. And do you want to jump down and go grab, grab Nama wood base there over on the other table? Can you? Right here. Um, Can you grab one of those for me, please? Okay, is it big or small? A small one. You got it? Thank you, honey. She's got a really bad cold, so. What is this? Um, that's a project we're going to do in our next video when you're up to it and we're doing a project. She's... I'll do it right now. We can't right now. It's too late, sweetie. Okay, we're going to put her on her base. And there we have Cinderella and her little cleaning rag here. Another thing that I did on her is sometimes when you cut out these little tiny pieces on the, the Cricut machine, um, they tear. And I was having an awful time with the blue and the white tearing because they were so tiny. So what I decided to do nuts to it and I painted it. So her mouth and her eyes and her hands are all hand painted and blushed her face. So she is completely different mo than most that I do. The other one that I did is the mice that do all the sewing. This one is cut on um, eight inches. And it's the two little mice. And what I did differently on them is the two are holding hands and this is one piece. And Kendall has to tell me something real quick here. I apologize. What do you need, honey? Um, let's play with our, my stuff. Okay, go ahead. You can play with your stuff. I want you to play too. Okay, give me just a minute and I'll finish up here. Somebody's needing some, some help here where she wants to do something. Anyway, I apologize. Um, this is cut at 8 inches. Um, because the tails are long, I couldn't get mm -hmm. it larger because on the Cricut Craft Room, again, you can't cut off the mat. And if these tails extended off the mat, once I tried to do them 12 inches, it, it wouldn't cut. So I did it in eight. Uh, the tan color of the mouse is also cut out a layer to put on the tail. But I liked the tails like this without anything on them because they're real wiggly and curly and they're not just flat. Um, like if you look at his tail from the side, his tail's curly. And I think they look really cute like that. And then I couldn't figure out how to mount them on the base. So what I did is I took a black stick and ran it up and glued it up through the center to make it look like they're dancing around, almost like a, dancing around this pole of some sort. And then I put a happy birthday sign on the top. That's the little mice guy. Then I did the pumpkin carriage. Um, on this one what I did is, sh this is cut again at um, 10 inches. And on this what I did on the, the, the um, squiggles here on the sides, I put stickles. I'm having a really hard time tonight. I sure hope this comes out okay. I use stickles glitter and put it all around this so it's real glittery. And then I did the um, Recollections, these lacy looking pearls, and put that all at the bottom of the carriage um, just to kind of dress it up. I thought it came out really, really cute. I'm gonna um, do some more additional pieces to this, but this particular person wanted these three pieces. I've never done the Cinderella before. This was my first shot at it, but I thought they came out really cute. And I, again, am filming way off, and I hope I didn't do that whole entire film. Well, I know when I watch it whether or not I'm gonna post it. And there we have the three pieces. I think they're really cute. Um, you'll have to let me know what you think. Thanks a lot. And I think that Kendall's over here insisting that she does her project. So she's getting, this is Kendall's corner over here where she has all of her own stuff. And she's going to do one of her own projects. Can you say hi, Kendall? Hi. Yeah. We're going to call it a night. And I think she's going to have to have a couple or a few minutes of her own to do something. But have a good evening and a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.